In this video, we are going to discuss check your understanding kinematics. First question. So the question is that there is a 10 kilometer long straight road. It connects two town A and B, and there are two cyclists. They start simultaneously. One key point. So I will highlight this. And one from town A, another from B. On reaching the opposite corner, opposite town, cyclist one cyclist immediately returns to the starting town, whereas the other one takes some rest and then returns to the starting town. Right. So both of them can ride 20 kilometers in the absence of wind. But during their journey, uniform wind goes from A to B. Increases A, A to B, that is, it increases the speed of one cyclist. Definitely the cyclist who is moving in the direction of wind, his or her velocity will increase and the other one velocity will reduce. So same thing is written here. Now the last line is that both the cyclists meet twice, first two kilometers and then six kilometers away from one of the towns, right? Then in which town and for what period a cyclist take rest? That is what we need to find out. Okay, so you can pause the video, try this question. This is average difficulty question. It's not a very difficult question. So you can, if you try it properly, you get it. So let us straight away go to the analysis of this. So this is the straight road. This is town A and this is B. This is person A and person B, right? Distance is 10 kilometer. So it is given that wind is blowing from A to B. So when wind is blowing from A to B, then definitely the velocity of the person A will be more as compared to B. So they will first time and definitely they will, they're going to meet here when they are, and when A is going to be, B, B is going to coming towards A, they will meet somewhere here, right? Two kilometers. So let us say they meet here at two kilometers. First, it is given in the question. You can see from here. So the two kilometers they meet. So suppose this is t equal to, so what I have written here, first time both will meet at two kilometers from town B because the speed of this is more. Let us now assume the wind velocity is x. So from this info, we'll find out the wind velocity. So velocity of A will become 20 plus x because it is moving in the direction of wind. B will become 20 minus x because it is moving. Uh, the B is moving opposite to the direction of wind. And let us say t equal to t naught, they meet. They start simultaneously, again given in the question. So t equal to t naught will be what? This is two, so this is eight divided by speed by, this is distance by speed, eight by 20 plus x, which is two by 20 minus x. If you solve, you get x as 12 kilometer per hour. So the wind velocity we have got, right? But that we don't have to find out. We have to find out something else. We have to find out that who has taken rest and for how much time. Now, since A has come here and then A and B both are meeting here, B will take, B is right now here and A has to cover only two kilometers. B has to cover a long distance and the speed of B is also less. The speed of A is more, right? So first obvious case is that A can take, take rest and then B starts simultaneously so that they again meet somewhere here, right? So that, that case now I'm taking. So since A is moving fast, A can take rest for let us say T naught time, correct? So now this is the situation when uh, A comes here and B comes here. Uh, actually A and B are the names of the town. So I will just remove this. This is still town A and this is B. And this is the person who started from town A, right? Now the person is here and let us now assume that since A has taken rest for T naught time, fine. So if A has taken rest for T naught time, then let's remove this only. Let's call this as A and B, otherwise it will create confusion. So A has taken rest for T naught time. And then after that, A starts moving and then both meet six kilometers from here. That is what is given in the question. So from beginning now, I will equate the time for both. Okay, so let us see, A started from here, how much time A took, 10 divided by 32, right? Because the speed becomes 32 in this direction. Then T naught time, A has taken S, so T naught here. Then after that, A has gone in this direction, how much distance, six kilometers, but it's now speed now becomes 20 minus 12, right? It is moving against the wind. Now, at the same time, B also moves, meets A. So for B, B has come, started from here and come here first. So that is 10 by 20 minus 12 because it is moving against the wind. Then after that, B has, B has not taken any rest. So B now travels four kilometer. 
but now speed of v is 32 because v is moving in the direction of wind. So if you solve, you get t naught as 5 by 16 hours, which is 18.75 minutes. Right? So it's a relatively simpler question. So if you have any doubt, you can uh, watch this video again. So that's it. And then very soon I will be coming with the second question. And then in this sequence, I will upload all the questions of kinematics from Pathfinder. And then we'll move to the next chapter. So if you have liked this video, like my analysis, please uh, uh, like this video and then please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be very happy if, and thankful to you if you share this channel with your friends. Thank you very much. We'll meet again.